Hi there, my name is Naomi and I'm the independent Epicure consultant behind Tappan's Table with Epicure. Thanks so much for joining the party. Uh, today we're going to be making a few different things. We're going to start off with the potato salad, the new creamy potato salad. So I've got in the steamer here some cut up potatoes. Um, so I just filled it, the, it about halfway full and I'm going to put the cover on and I'm going to stick this in the microwave for about 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to pop it in the microwave and I'll be right back. So our potatoes are in the microwave and I'm going to start on the creamy sauce for them. Okay, so first step is two tablespoons of the creamy potato salad. And I'm going to use our four in one spoon. Now this spoon is awesome. It has the tablespoon, the teaspoon, half a teaspoon, and a quarter teaspoon. I don't know about you, but before I had this baby in my life, I was digging through that drawer over there. I could never find the spoon that I wanted. And this is easy, it's convenient, it's always in the uh, top drawer, easy to find, easy to pull out. I don't have to dig for the spoon that I need because they're all right here and I love that. They conveniently fit in all of our jars. And they're flat on the bottom as well, so you can use them for scraping too. Okay, so we've got two tablespoons. Next step is a half a cup of Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. And I'm using our three-in-one spatula for that as well to get that out. These are the prep bowls here that I have in my hand too. And these things are really great because they come in packs of four. They have the measurements on the side. They have both the cup measurements and milliliter measurements. They come with four silicone covers, so one for each dish. And you push it down to seal it. These are very handy and they can go in the freezer too, which is really convenient. Okay, so we've got mix and Greek yogurt in there, plain Greek yogurt so far. We're going to add another half a cup of mayo. So this makes a full cup worth of sauce. And then you just Stir it up here and get it all combined. It even smells good. Now this is potato salad dressing, but I have used it on pasta salad as well. And use it in um, mashed potatoes too, which was good. <laughs> okay, so that's combined there. I'm going to take about a cup of chopped onions. This is optional. You don't have to put onions in. Um, we like them, so I put them in. I've also put um, green pepper in before or even cucumbers, and that was pretty good in it. I'll give it another quick stir. That aside. I'm going to take our prep knife here. This is a ceramic knife that is coated. It is very sharp. It comes with a guard. I really love these Epicure knives. If you don't have one, I highly suggest that you do. Every kitchen needs one of these. Okay, so this is celery that I'm chopping up. And I'm just going to chop it in kind of little pieces. And that's going in the bowl too. 
and I've pre-cooked uh, four uh, hard-boiled eggs. It calls for three. I like extra egg in it, so you can really make the recipes your own. Okay. And I'm going to take our meat separ uh, meat separator. Um, typically this is for meat, but I use it from anything from avocados, mashed potatoes, mashing the eggs. Um, it works really great. I don't know if you can really get in here and see, but it really combines it all up too. And the thing that I like about ours, um, cause I know other companies have similar things, um, Ours doesn't have the little odd spots that can gather food in it. It's all nice and smooth, and I like that about it. So that's all combined and ready for the potatoes. Potatoes are almost done. I'll be right back. I'm just going to set this aside and move the dishes and, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do while our potatoes are cooking is I'm going to make a sauce. It's the Smoky Mojo sauce. And I'm going to make it in our four cup prep bowl. It also comes with the lid. So I've got uh, two tablespoons of water already in here so I didn't have to run over to the, uh, the sink. And I got a new jar here, so as you can see, these jars are packed right full when they come in. So two tablespoons of water, and we're going to go with two tablespoons of mix. This recipe is really easy to remember because it's two, two, two. And I'm going to put the jar down here because one of the really nice things about our jars are that they have the recipes and usually two or three recipes right on them. So you don't have to remember the recipe, you don't have to look for a recipe card, it's right there on the jar. Okay, so two cups of water, two cups of seasoning, and we're going to go with two cup or <laughs> two cups, two tablespoons, sorry. <laughs> and we're going to go with two tablespoons of each of vinegar. Let's start with the vinegar. We're going to give it a stir. smells smoky, like it has a, a smoke, natural smoke um, smell to it, and it smells really good. Now before we add the, the olive oil to this, because we're going to add two tablespoons of olive oil to this, but it has to sit for five minutes, it says, so we're going to let it sit. I'm going to set that there. While that's cooking, I'm going to grab one more thing here. So I've got another steamer with some chicken in it because I'm doing my meal prep tonight for all for all y'all to see. <laughs> and I've got the SPG. The SPG stands for salt, pepper, and garlic. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on to the chicken. I'm not going to measure it. You can if you want. I'd say probably about a teaspoon. That's a little much. But just want to cover it lightly. And 
this is just asparagus that I've put onto the multi-purpose tray and I'm going to set it in the multi-purpose steamer and I'm going to put the cover on. I just heard the microwave go off for our potatoes so I'm going to take the potatoes out and I'm going to pop this in. This is going to go in the microwave for 10 minutes. It has chicken and asparagus in it. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the microwave and I'll be right back. Okay, so our potatoes have come out of the microwave. You'll see there's water. I did not add water. This is just, it's natural being steamed in its own juices there. Okay, these are great. You're going to want one of these. They're the hot cool pads. You're going to want to make sure that you're setting your steamer on one of those too because it is going to be really hot when it comes out of the microwave. So I'm just going to put some potatoes in here because like I said I am doing meal prep. Okay, and I'm going to set these aside. And I'm going to bring our salad mixture back over. And I'm just going to dump the potatoes that we have in here right into here. And I'm going to stir. Now if you don't like big chunks of uh, potato in your potato salad, you can use the meat masher and smash it to give it a more of a creamy um, consistency. It's all up to you and how you like it. smoothing it down here. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to set it aside for a second. And I'm going to pull out some onion greens. Now if you're not familiar, I'll give you a little kitchen tip here. When you buy onion greens at the store, if you cut them down and you don't cut this white part right here, if you leave it up just about, about two fingers above the white part and you put it in water in an old jar, or even in, I've got mine in a prep bowl this time, um, they'll regrow up to three times. So it's a little savings there for you, so you don't have to buy them as, as frequently, and you still can enjoy them. Put them in a sunny spot. I put mine right up on the window ledge. the white part there. Left a little green. Sticking it back in the water and in a minute I'll put it back up on the window ledge and it'll be about that size again next week. Okay, so I'm just going to top our salad with that. Give it a little grease. And you can cut these up smaller if you want. I was in a hurry. <laughs> Now, last but not least, better than bacon. You guys, this is so good. Okay, this came out the 1st of May and we've already gone through three jars here alone in my house. Okay, I went and ordered probably at least three more of these babies. These are delicious. It's like a bacon bit, but it's not. It is made out of beans, pinto beans, I believe. Yep, pinto beans. It is delicious. I've been putting it literally on everything. It is so good. Okay, so that's the potato salad. That is done.
Moving on, we're gonna go back to our sauce here. So that's set a good five minutes. I'm just gonna give it a stir. And we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. So just to recap on this, we've got two tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of mix, two tablespoons of white vinegar, and now we're adding two tablespoons of olive oil. Give it a stir here. It's thickened up a little bit, that's why it's had to sit, because it will thicken up. It's still, like, it, it's still a water consistency, but it has, you can tell it has some texture to it. I'm just gonna use that same steamer that the potatoes came out of. And I'm gonna put two chicken breasts in. You can put more, there's more than enough sauce there to incorporate more, but this is what I have on hand today. So two chicken breasts. And we're gonna coat dump it in there with it <laughs> and I'm just gonna make sure there's a little bit on each piece of the chicken. I'm going to turn it around because you don't want to forget the back. You know, I was saying earlier that it has a, a smoky flavor and it really does. Like, you can smell it. It's very evident. get that flavor in every piece, every bite. <laughs> okay. So as soon as our um, chicken and asparagus come out of the microwave, I'm going to pop this in. Uh, this is just the two chicken breasts, so uh, six to eight minutes and this should be done. Um, you can put these steamers in the oven as well. They're great. Um, they can be heated up to up to I think it's 442 degrees and um, they're so easy to clean. They can go in the dishwasher or you can wash them by hand and literally you just one wipe and things fall off of them. Nothing sticks. They're amazing. <laughs> so not only are they quick to cook but they're also really quick to clean and I am all about that. <laughs> So as soon as our stuff comes out of the microwave, I will show you what it looks like and we'll get it plated up. Okay, so everything's done cooking. So first we're going to take a peek here at our asparagus and our chicken. So you can see it in the multi-purpose tray there. Just going to take some out and stick it in a dish here. Over out, stick it in another dish. Some on our plate. Okay, now I'm just going to not sure if you can see everything going on here. I'm gonna pick up our multi-purpose tray. It aside. And I've got the chicken. And again, I didn't add water. It's normal to have water in there because it is cooking with steam. It's this, it's natural juices. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. 
Yeah, there's more chicken in there, but I'm going to get another dish. Okay. These are hot, so make sure you get your hot pads under them. Oh, that smells delicious. I'm not sure if you can see it good there. It is yummy looking. Take our grip and grab. These utensils are awesome. Much like the silicone uh, cookware. Uh, well, these are silicone cookware. <laughs> but these can be heated up to uh, 445 degrees, I believe it is, as well. Um, so they're not going to melt. I love that about them. You don't have to worry about forgetting them in a pot or... or uh, if you leave them in your baking dish, you've done that before, <laughs> stick it in the oven. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to add some potato salad on here. This is another Epicure product. This is a ladle. So now all I'm really going to do is I'm going to put some sea salt on. And some pepper. These grinders are really neat too because they have two settings. They have a, you can turn this piece that's in here. And when you turn it, it uh, changes the course, the coarseness of it. So you can do big flakes or a little um, more thin flakes. And of course, because like I said, this stuff is awesome. I'm gonna throw a little bit of that onto the asparagus. And there you have it, a nice healthy meal. Um, it's cooked in about um, 20 minutes for everything. And um, you can always switch out your vegetable if you don't like asparagus. Asparagus, you can do carrots or um, yeah, cauliflower, broccoli, you name it, it can be done. <laughs> um, I really hope that you enjoyed the cooking class and I can't wait to see you in the kitchen.